Good morning, this is Stuart Fleming again. We're going to be working on uh, creating um, combo boxes that switch. Um, in some cases, uh, you might have um, two types of data that you are um, looking at, and um, based on what you select in this combo box, you might want to see different data in the next combo box. So if I choose bank transfer, I might get be able to choose these three trans uh, three three pieces of data, or if I choose credit card, I might want to see Amex MasterCard or Visa, depending on what you have in your wallet. Um, so um, how do we do that? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Okay, I've created a, a number of um, different view objects. The first view object we have is the um, employee view, o, and I've added two columns on here um, to the table and then added them to the entity and now to the view object so that I can see them here and they're both strings. And um, I do have a list of values on them. I will explain that in a minute. Uh, the payment switch is uh, a transient um, uh, attribute uh, view object that I created based off of this query. And I basically say select bank and this is the text that you saw, bank transfer, and then credit and then credit card as the pay description. It's a very simple query, but it will give me two choices in my combo banks. Uh, bank transfer, which you see, but bank, which is saved. And then credit, which is saved, but you see credit card. So a user-friendly description, but uh, a string to identify exactly what the value is. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go over to the employee VO. We look at the employment type and we created one. I've already created it, um, but we can go in and take a look at it. And I have the payment switch here selected. Um, I press this to first create it. I, moved, I took it over and I moved it over to here, and that's how that's there. And uh, then I made sure that I um, had the attribute um, selected, and then that populated there. I went over to the UI, and I moved over the pay description. So we'll press OK. Now uh, what we need to do is, is look at the payment details. Now this is the field that we're going to switch back and forth from. And we have to make sure of one thing in particular. We're going to make sure that the values that we have correspond to the values returned. So let me explain. The first one that we're going to do is a bank transfer. We're going to move that over and we'll leave that accessor name the same but we're going to call this bank. Well, and it has to be capital. Why? Because the value that is in the payment switch view object is bank. Okay, now we choose our trans seek and that populates down here. And we can choose the trans type, which would in this case be um, bank transaction, I believe. Okay, actually it'll list all of the, the values from the um, bank transaction view objects. My apologies. Now we have it down here. Okay, and you can actually look at the accessor. This is the accessor um, for that uh, particular love. So there is there are dependencies that are on different tabs that you have to be aware of. Okay, we're going to create another one. And this one is simply going to be called credit in uppercase because that's what it was. We don't have the credit yet. So I'm going to choose it over here, and I'm going to choose credit cards. We can leave the accessor name here the same. And we're going to select the card seek. And over here, we're going to create the card. Now, when this returns, or when I select this, there are two outcomes, bank or credit. So now here we have, this is the default. It's listed default here. Or this is the default. You can choose either one. I'll, I'll just leave that one. And you can see you have the choice of what kind of list it is. I'll leave the default. But then we're going to choose which field this particular combo is looking at to select which view object to show. So let's save that. We'll look at, take a look at our app module. We have the employee VO. I'm a little paranoid here. I like to always refresh it, but I don't think you really need to. And I'll press save, and now I'm going to run it.
can hear my computer chugging away. We've got the view object here. We have the payment type. We're going to choose bank transfer and pray that we get that. Then we're going to change it to credit card and hope that we get this. So that works. So the important thing to remember is, is that you really need to specify exactly what the payment switch returns, the bank or the credit. And that has to be the name of the right here it says bank or credit that has to be the name of the list of values that's returned because that is what determines uh, what this is now if i change this to bank one or banky or something like that that will break our um, our uh, love switcher okay and that would be bad <laughs> i had to actually redo this i had done it a number of months ago and for some reason it did not work and i had forgotten exactly what the magic words were to make this work and it happens to be that the name has to be exactly what the payment switch returns so please keep that in mind when you're creating this and um, videos like this are what help me uh, try to remember and um, that I can refer back to if I ever forget. Have a great day and uh, look forward to talking to you again.